Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Southland RV, Richmond Hill, Georgia. And here today, we're going to go through, we're going to be talking about Airstream, but specifically, what are the differences between a Bambi and a Caravelle? So for more information on these campers or any others, reach out to me, contact information down below. Um, and let me know, give me your comments, let me know what you're thinking. So let's get on to this. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences in the Caravel, which I have on our left, and the Bambi on the right. These are both the 16 RBs. Now let's start with the Bambi. On the Bambi itself, you're looking at a camper. By the way, their lengths are gonna be similar, although the Caravel is gonna be a little bit longer and I'll explain why when we get over to it. But the weight on the Bambi is gross vehicle weight rating is 3,500 pounds. Let me get up here, show you this here. You've got 3,500 pounds, which you've got right there for the gross vehicle weight rating, but you can only carry 273 pounds of cargo. Okay, so cargo carrying capacity, very, very limited. So now let's compare that to the Caravelle. On the Caravelle, you're gonna have 4,300 pounds is your gross vehicle weight rating, 790 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Okay, now let's look at some of the features on the outside and see what the differences are. Notice how we do not have the rock guards on the Bambis. There's no rock guard. Notice you do have the rock guard on the Caravelle. We have the same tongue jack, roughly the same size uh, LP bottles. The windows on the front look the same. You're gonna have a uh, standard size awning on the side. Let me go to the back. Be a little bit easier to show you the differences from here. So you can see how you have the door side awning on the Bambi, same thing on the Caravelle. Difference is on the Caravelle, you're gonna have window awnings. You do not have a window awning option on the Bambi. So notice there's also an off door side window awning, which you're not gonna have on the, on the Bambi. So Caravelle, you get the, wind, uh, the extra window awnings, you don't on the Bambi. The uh, Caravelle, notice you have the rear bumper and that gives you additional little storage as well for some things. You do not have that on the Bambi. So that is on the Caravelle, your step, this is what your step looks like on your Caravelle. It's an aluminum step. Versus on the Bambi, you're going to have the steel step. They both fold up pretty much the same. Now, for a stabilizer standpoint, you're going to have the smaller stabilizers here, as you can see, on the Bambi. Versus the heavier duty stabilizers on the Caravelle. So in the Bambi, you're gonna have central AC, meaning it's just in one spot and it's blowing out everywhere. So you're gonna have it blowing here, there, to the sides. It is not ducted AC. Okay, so in the Caravelle, you're gonna have ducted AC. You see it's ducted through these here and it's ducted for the warm air return. Notice how you do not see the actual air conditioner. That'll make it a little bit quieter. In the Bambi, you're gonna have the roll-up doors for your storage. That's for your upper storage. Versus in the Caravel, you can see how you have sliders for that. Now, I don't know if that actually makes it, they seem like they're a little bit deeper as well with that. Now, as far as the windows are, are concerned, very much the same as far as the amount of windows. Okay. Um, there'll be slight differences and I'll point them out as we're going through them. Um, the front windows are going to be the same in the Caravelle as they are in the Bambi. Your dinette is the same. So this dinette is, you've got the width of the camper and it's about 41 inches from um, front to back. 
Uh, one of the differences you're going to notice is this window is different than what's going to be in the Caravelle, and I'll show you that when we get to the Caravelle. And then, of course, the window is going to be different in the back on the Bambi and the Caravelle. So the difference in the Bambi is you have, it's the Jalousy style window, the old, just, these are just a regular style Jalousy type windows. Nice thing is with that is you can open them uh, if it's raining out, you still have them open, which is kind of nice. You have your power vent fan on right here. You pull an air through. So let me show you the difference in the Caravelle. So as you can see, the window, very much the same as what you have in the Bambi. There on the front. Dinette, identical as far as the uh, di dimensions. It's just going to be different fabrics. The difference in the window by the kitchen area is you see you have two different windows here. Neither one of those are going to open versus the one that did open in the Bambi. But the back window, as you can see, looks a lot bigger, correct? And it's going to open up to give you more airflow. The bed back here is going to be identical to the one in, as far as size-wise, in the Bambi. And, of course, you still have the Max Air Fan or the Fantastic Fan to allow air to be pulled through. Now, just to show you why the windows are different in the Bambi versus the Caravelle is this is what you see from the outside for that window. This is going to be the only portion that opens right here for that. Now, this is the Caravelle right next to it. Now, the part that opens is going to be this window that's under the uh, window awning itself. So, but you can see how you have the corner windows where you did not have that on the Bambi. Now, both the kitchens are going to be very, very similar. You're going to have your sink, two burner cooktop, the microwave, and the refrigerator. Very much the same. And, you know, the refrigerator freezer, basically. And then, of course, you do have little storage here. You can put things, hang things up in there. A little trash can in there. Your awning rod. As you can see, control the AC back here. This one does have the TV, which you're going to have the TV on the other one as well. Now, with the TVs, they do swivel out a little bit for you. They are not going to swivel around where you can see the whole TV from the front, unfortunately. That is not something that we'll do. Now, when it comes to the bathroom, this is a wet bath, all in one. So you have the towel holder on the door itself. You've got your shower curtains in here. Nice little vent fan in there, little window. Of course, I have the door opened onto it, hence the reason why you don't see all, a lot going out there. Um, toilet paper holder, which is nice. It's uh, covered, so it's not going to be getting wet. Shower. And then, of course, you do have your medicine cabinet in here. So this is in the Bambi. You're going to see very much so the same stuff in the Caravelle as well. Just starting with the um, TV again, that's on the swivel. That's what it looks like when it's stored away. Of course, stereo speakers back there, but that's the bedroom area. Now, of course, you have your AC control. This also has a converter already set up with it. And basically the same storage here. Kitchen, very much the same. I know it's a different style, two burner cooktop refrigerator is identical and then the bathroom itself as you can see all the same goodies that were in the caravel now the difference is see the window there a little bit different window some people like that change and of course they changed the towel holders on the bathroom door pretty much the same thing on the wall here as you come in the door now this again this is both of the 16 RBs. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The comparison between the 2024 Bambi and the Caravelle. Do you see the differences? Does it make a big difference? I think one of the glaring big, big differences is in the weight. And that's the cargo carrying capacity. As well as the gross vehicle weight rating. That's really what it is. Um, so I uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, comment, let me know what you're thinking. Anyway, back at you again soon. Take care.